I'd like to introduce you now to Lori Barrett, a mother of three Harborview children who sits at the helm of our team to not only secure a vote no on cue, but to steadfastly work to ensure a final victory in the courts. Please join me in welcoming Lori. Thank you for coming to support the children today. I am overwhelmed with pride and hopefulness. Like many of you, I've lost sleep over the thought of this tower being erected at this site. When I did research, I found that our country is behind in the studies that are beginning to show health impacts from close proximity to the same type of cellular towers that T-Mobile is trying to put 28 feet from our children here and 20 feet from the sandbox at Bolsa View Park. In addition, I learned that Almost all European countries, Australia and others, were banning these same cell towers from any residential areas. The fact that T-Mobile could not put the cell tower anywhere close to a school in Germany, the country of their headquarters, caused me to step outside my normal comfort zone and get involved. While feeling a bit fearful, T-Mobile may just be too large to stop, I started to think about the few Harborview parents who had the bravery to stop the 55-foot cell tower from being installed by calling the media a year and a half ago, standing in the way of construction. I came to believe that we can make a difference. I often think about our neighbor, Mr. Morrison, I know you're out there, who does not have any children who attend Harborview, yet he hired an attorney at the time to help protect our children and community. Without his actions, please. Without his actions, we may not have had the chance to fight at all. Then I began to come across communities just like our own who fought the same fight against T-Mobile and saved nursery schools, elementary schools, churches from the threat of T-Mobile's march of cellular towers across the United States. Two such communities in California have recently reached out to our No on Q committee in just the last couple of weeks to offer help and support. Recently in August, I watched proudly while parent after parent got up in front of our city council to stand up for their children and to argue that revoking tower permits was the only decision we could make. All of this was being done in front of T-Mobile's army of attorneys. All of these moments inspired me, but nothing inspires me more than seeing everyone out here today. I want to thank all the volunteers that are helping to get the bow out on new and made this rally reality. They stepped outside their normal daily activities because protecting our children is that important. T-Mobile CEO Robert Dotson, if you are listening, and I presume you are, change your business model and withdraw your permits now. Stop filing lawsuit after lawsuit. Otherwise, the only saturation of the market you will have is saturating communities across America to come to loathe your business practices, and the Team Noble name will be associated with the big tobacco companies of the past. Now I say, let's win the vote on November 2nd by a landslide. And then on November 3rd, continue to let T-Mobile know we are not going away until they go away. Stop T-Mobile! Stop the towers! Stop T-Mobile! Stop the towers! Stop T-Mobile! Stop the towers! Stop T-Mobile!